bitches that live in too far for you to see or too far for you to go visit like no um, I don't know I'm just not mature enough for a long distance relationship I guess I don't know however y'all guys want to put that I mean how do y'all feel about long distance relationships like I said I wasn't opposed to it until I was in one you know what I'm saying like it's just I'm too insecure for that like I'm not Bitch, who is you talking to? Like, I don't, you gotta be on the phone too much, number one. Number two, like, if you're not on the phone, then it's like, who are you spending with? Taylor, 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 Taylor. Now, thinking bigger about a bigger picture, like, if I was to get married and, like, me and my spouse had to work on different sides of the world. Like, that shit would be fucking impossible for me. Like, that's why I gotta really, really think about marriage shit. And, like, this shit you gotta be willing to go through when you marry somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta love that person. Like, are you gonna love this person even though they're in Aruba and you're in fucking L.A. filming something and you gotta be doing it for three years? And is they still gonna love you? That's the question, you know? And is it still gonna be easy? Is it... No, it's not gonna be. It's just gonna get harder. And are you willing to go through that fucking hard ass time? And like I said, you know, I'm not opposed to it. It's just gotta be one badass chick, like for real. And we gotta be married. Like that's the only way I can really see myself in a long distance relationship. I have to already be in a relationship, like like the first time. So I just don't see myself being desperate enough to jump on vibe lines or any fucking chat line or facebook and it's like them pictures could be catfish that could be your cousin like that shit happened to me i done got catfished a million times like and that shit got a nigga noise like i'm not thinking i'm not about to do it like no it, it just don't make no sense because it's too many too much photoshopping around people just lie people you know yeah you can Ooh, 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 or video chat with them but even then like niggas cameras be helping them like i'm sorry they do <laughs> fucking, 
I just, nah, I'd rather meet you in person and vibe with you and then figure that out. You know what I'm saying? And then figure that out like that. I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings, but that's just where I'm at right now. Like, that's where I'm at at a 32-year-old motherfucker about to be 33. Now, when I was 23, yeah, I did that shit before. Like I told you, I did that shit before. I, I'm not doing this again, though. <laughs> Hell to the fuck no. Hell to the motherfucker. No. Man, I'm going to tell y'all about this one time. Because it's funny as fuck. And if my nigga Brandy out there, she can vouch to it, man. All right. So, me and my homegirl Brandy <laughs> was on, I don't know, some party line in New Orleans, dog. It was our party line. We meet these little hoes, these thotties from... Gulfport, Mississippi. Now we should have knew from the name of where the fuck they say they from that these bitches wasn't as hot as they pictures that was on Black Planet. That's how old this was. <laughs> yeah, we we had to get their pictures off of Black Planet, man. So like dog, it shit is crazy cause me and Brandy drive all the way out there to go see these girls. Like for real, for real. We drive out there. But we get a rental. When we get it, we turn it back in out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they had cars. So Brandy knew what hers looked like. But me, I got the fucking catfish. And on the picture, she really looked like, oh my God, the girl was gorgeous. I'm not gonna fucking lie. See when I met her. I had the nerve to tell me, oh, that's her cousin. She had no pictures on Black Planet. This bitch looked like Shrek. She looked like Shrek, nigga. She was bigger than me, taller than me, everything. Just ginormous. I'm a little bitty motherfucker. Like, I'm straight out of high school, dog. Like, this shit was just so disturbing. And because I'm a good wingman, I played that role because we only had to be there one weekend, right? So why homegirl car broke down? So we couldn't get we in Gulfport, Mississippi. Like we in the country. So we couldn't get to the fucking rental place like we wanted to. This was back before the rental people decided to come pick a motherfucker up. Like, yo, this shit was so crazy. We had to call Brandy's mom who wound up riding all the way out there to come get us because this shit was just wild and it felt like they was kidnapping us, dog. Like for real, for real. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting kidnapped by Shrek. Could somebody please come get me? Please. <laughs> please. Shout out Brady Mama. She the real OG. She drove from New Orleans to Gulfport, Mississippi to come get me and Brandy. <laughs> Shout out Brandy, bitch. When I see you, bitch, uh, you know, we done been through a lot of shit. Oh my God. Um, yeah. So that's my story time and why I don't do long distance. Don't do it. Again, y'all keep the dope images tuned in. We got some rants and story times for you coming up. Um, I also got a couple of new videos coming up and commercials coming up. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep vibing.